Welcome to Superstitions, Traditions, and Definitions. I'm Kristen. And I'm Carol. And we're on location. Woo! We're at Flint Ridge. We are, and it's hot and sweaty, and it, it we're, all, we're melting. But melting. it's fun. Okay. Camping. Once we found our it's way the here. Greatest place. You got lost just a little bit. Did no, you think? What? What? Do you, do you know what we're going to talk about today? I do not. Knocking on wood. Why? So I can tell you why. But okay. right now, we're not, I just want to know did you stop and knock on a tree and ask for guidance? I did not. I had you on the phone until you're like, oh, I'm going to go for a walk. Fuck you, Carol. Listen, <laughs> I was still there. You were the one who nope. disappeared. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I was there looking for guidance, and you decided to throw me to the wolves, let me find it myself. Well, if we had done this podcast before you drove here, mm -hmm. you would have known to stop and knock on a tree. I, I don't think I would have. I mean, there's, there's 87 million trees out there because we're in the woods. We fresh air, the all woods. the fresh air. All the fresh air, all the little critters. Woo! The hammock. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But we're all sweaty and gross. I know. That's the best part. <laughs> it's not. I can't wait to go home and take a shower. Uh -uh, we get to sit in dirty water. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sit in dirty water? No, I got to go. I love to swim in a creek. I, I know you do. You you're sitting in dirty water. You're like, like an otter. Just get out there. And you hold hands when you swim around so you don't lose track of your people. Of course. Okay, I'm just asking. Can you swim any other way? Yeah. <laughs> but then how do you keep track of your people? Well, don't fall asleep. What's the point in being in the creek if you're not going to take a nap? Take a nap on the, on the shore. Make sure everybody's it's out of the water. It's a rock shore. You can sleep on rock. People that do it. It isn't comfortable. Who cares? I've, I've we tried. didn't talk about comfort. We talked about not floating away. That's true. Mm -hmm. Do we want to talk about knocking on wood? I suppose we probably should. Okay. Since you've got your notebook. No, it's the handy dandy legal, legal pad, pad now. Yes, I know. I have misplaced the handy dandy composition notebook. So I know now what, we I have know the what to get you now. I know legal what to pad. get you now. Who doesn't love a good legal pad? I don't know. But I, I mean, it's got lots of paper in it. Tall paper. Tall you paper. can fit a lot on there, but I you can't. didn't fit a lot. You're like halfway Listen. down. I know, but it's okay. I got this. Okay. So, do you knock on wood? I have. Whenever you say something positive, like, I've never wrecked my car, you have to knock on wood to make mm -hmm. sure it doesn't happen. Right. Because then is... the wood will say, I'm going to travel with you and make sure nobody hits your car. That's, That's right. That's what the wood says. That is what the wood says. Mm hmm and I'm going to tell you why here in Great. just a minute. Let me hear it. So if you are British, though, you don't knock on the wood, you touch wood. That doesn't sound the same. It isn't. However, you'll probably want to touch wood instead of knock on wood after I explain the difference. I don't want to touch wood. I promise you might. <laughs> no, you touch all the wood you want. I'm going to stay over here. You're so sick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Go okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, you, and so, your, you and your touchy wood. I know it. <laughs> my touching wood. It is a common superstition oh, across common. the United States. Oh, okay. The United Kingdom, Ooh. China, India, Turkey. A is lot this of every Europe. place that has trees? Pretty much. <gasps> it is pretty much every place that has trees. So they go and they, they knock on wood. They go and they knock on wood. Or they, or they touch wood. Or they touch wood. Or they get paid for it. I mean... If you're going to touch a lot of wood, you should get paid you for it. You should get paid for it. I mean, Otherwise. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway, you're just giving that away. You, my children <laughs> watch this, so we're not going to go into any explanations about that. However. No, but you're going to leave it there because you're the one who said. That's right. Okay. At some point, I will explain to them why they should get paid for it if they're going to touch a lot of wood. <laughs> just not yet. <laughs> anyway, okay. Just not yet. Okay, yes. I mean, I think a high school diploma is needed for that. To touch wood? So I can explain it to the old one. Oh, I see. Okay. So, anyway, why do we do it? Knocking on wood stems from a pagan belief, oh. pre-Christianity, oh. of tree spirits. They live inside the tree, and you knock on the wood. And you wake them up, and then they're mad at you. 
And apparently they're not. They're like, okay, I got work to do. It's time to protect the like, people. Really? I would pick a tree if I was a little tree sprite. Out in the middle of nowhere, like 85 miles from everywhere. And then nobody would knock on my tree. That sounds wonderful. I'm mm -hmm. not a little tree sprite, but I think I might do that anyway. I'm going to go find go. you a place. Take a sleeping bag. I have a hammock. You could do that. I have a hammock, one that you can tie to the trees. And then I also have one that has a stand. So I'm good. You are hammock rich. Got all of them. I do. Anyway. I even sleep in a hammock sometime at my own house on the porch. Dip your back. Uh-huh. And it's comfy and you're outside and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's the best sleep ever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless it's raining. You're probably on the porch though. Yeah, I'm on the porch. Okay. Except for the one that hangs on the trees. Then I'm not on the porch. Then it's outside. Yeah. In the yard. In the yard. Okay. All right. But at my house, it's on the porch. So you say. Okay. Okay. All right. So common across Europe, United States, pagan pre-Christian belief, the not basketball team, Celts. The Celtics. The Celtics is a basketball team. Yes. That's not them. They had nothing to do with this. Don't knock on Larry Bird's tree outside his house because he don't care. Don't knock on Larry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, I would I would knock on Larry Legend's tree. Be like, oh, can you sign this for me because I love him. But Larry Legend, if you're watching, mwah. anyway, anyway. So you're talking about the Celts. Uh -huh, See, when we when we Celts. have this problem with the Celtics and the Celtics, uh -huh. if you think you're saying it right, you're not. Okay, so let's just go I with know. that, and we'll try that next time. We'll try that next time. Okay, as long as I can say it's not the basketball team, you know I what I'm talking know. about. I will know, but I want you to know too. I used to until mm -hmm. I got confused, and I now I can't. I don't now I can't did. know ever no, again. No, I don't think you ever knew. I probably didn't. I think you've always just been confused about it. Mm -hmm. I'm confused about a lot of things. Mm. Um, it is a especially Celtic, a Celtic Celts or Celtic Celts, whichever way you want Whatever. to look at it. Okay, a Celtic belief that trees house spirits and gods, along with other things in nature. We learned with the water and in a previous episode okay um so they would knock on it to seek protection now is this a hollow tree or do they just live in there with the sap and the i think they live in there with the sap and everything <sighs> how comfortable would that be oh my stuff would be sticky i'd be mad about it you know when you get tree sap on your hands and you just can't get rid of it what do you do I if i'm not, not around thrilled. for you to wipe it off on i'll find you okay i don't know if i'd be thrilled either but i don't think they might they like the tree sap? I think Is so. Is that what you're telling me? Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, to each their own, I suppose. But you, I'd rather have like a little hollow. I mean, if I was like a little sprite and I was like this big, if you had a hollow tree, man, you'd have it made. A you would. place to yourself. And maybe they are just this big. And a woodpecker pecked, them. pecked a little hole for them to live in. Mm, or the tree died. And they could hollow it out. Or Do you want to live felt. in a dead tree? I don't know. Do you? No. What? Okay, whatever. Okay, I mean, hey, I don't know. Don't knock it until you try it. I, that is true. Mm -hmm. So the sacred trees that have the most protective powers okay. are oak, ash, hawthorn, hazel, and willow. Why willow? Because it's all like a fortress oh. when it weeps oh. and the branches hang down and you can hide in there. I, that doesn't sound very secure to me. Mm. Sounds like it's because your grandparents didn't have a willow tree in their backyard for you to have a fort under. My parents did. Did you have a fort? We climbed it. Good. That's good. And that's what they're there for. We didn't climb ours. We played in the fort on the ground okay. underneath it. Okay. How fancy. I know. You had a fort. We just had a big freaking tree to climb and, and break. We kind of broke it. That's not nice. Mm. We didn't necessarily try to. Okay, that's good. As long as it wasn't on purpose. No, of course not. Okay. We're not barbarians. Are you sure? No. Uh, so they would knock on the tree to communicate with a higher power. Okay. To seek guidance. Okay. To ask for protection. Okay. And also to drive away evil spirits. The knock drove away evil spirits? No, they wanted to drive away evil spirits. So, oh, you wanted to have the tree sprite drive away evil spirits. Yes. 
well, if they're only this big, what are they going to drive away? The evil spirits. Evil spirits are probably like this big. What's wrong with you? They probably bit their ankles or something. Well, then you need to go knock on all the trees and get all the little tree sprites to come and have an you army have of tree sprites. You just have to knock on one and they'll call their friends. No, they don't do that. Yeah, but they do. I bet they don't. They know their friends don't want to be bothered any more than they do. I don't. No, yeah. oh, they knocked on your tree, not mine. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> you know. So whenever someone boasts of good fortune, okay, they would knock on the tree because if the evil spirit overheard mm. you boasting mm. about your good fortune, they're going to take it Bye -bye. away. Bye-bye. No more good fortune for you? Gotcha. Huh. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Sounds like some malarkey, but we'll continue. Let's continue. Let's do. So pagan belief, pre-Christianity. Okay. People still wanted to knock on wood. It's hard to give up the things you believe in. Or the things that your that are people passed, do. Right, that are passed down from generation to generation. Like so when you pick up your feet when you go over railroad crossing. What is that about? Get back to me. Have you never done that? When you go over railroad tracks, you've never picked your feet up? I have never. Oh, maybe it's an Iowa thing. Maybe it's an Iowa thing. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go to Iowa okay. and, and find out why y'all are crazy and do that. Two weeks. Uh -huh. But. But we do. It's a thing. Christianity came along. Mm -hmm. People did not want to give up the knocking on wood. Okay. So. Do Christians tell people they can't knock on wood? I don't remember ever saying well, that myself. They don't tell people they can't knock on wood, but they do tell people that there is only one true God. There is. And it's not a tree sprite. It's not. Living in a tree. God lives in heaven. He doesn't live in a tree. You don't need to knock on a tree to get in touch with God. No. You so, just have to say, yo, God. That's he all knows. you got to do. That's it. That is all you got to do. Yep. So when Christianity came along, mm -hmm. they kind of altered the belief of the knocking on the wood. Okay. To so, to associating the wood with the cross. Yes. So, they changed it for the Christian faith to knock on wood. You are knocking on the cross asking for Jesus' protection. Oh, well, I will ask for Jesus' protection. All the no day problem. long. All the day long. All the day long. Indeed. Which is also... Um, the British touching wood, they're touching the cross. Instead of knocking on it. Instead of knocking it might, on that it. That might be more polite. than. And maybe you know. they should say touch the cross. Right. Because if you are from America, it does sound a little dirty. Yes. When you touch the as wood. As we have discussed. As we have discussed. Yep. Money just, trading hands, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes you just don't get paid for it. Um, that's... I guess that's up to you, though. It is. Yeah. Ladies' is. choice. Ladies' choice. So the Hawthorne, Hazel, and Willow primarily, mm -hmm. in the pagan belief, mm -hmm. were sacred trees. They had protective powers. They were trees that were used often in making magic wands. Okay. Because of their... Because of Harry Potter? And their magic wands? Uh, maybe, Is that not it? Is that not where you're going? Harry, I think Harry Potter borrowed from that mm, it, okay perhaps perhaps i mean i'm not sold but hey let's let's just go on about about wood now if you cut down a tree and you make a table does the tree sprite go with you or is the tree sprite mad at you that you've cut down their home now, i on. think if it's summertime and the tree sprite is living in the tree in the heat of the day mm -hmm. you cut it down you make it into a table. You bring it into your air-conditioned house. You got a friend in the tree sprite. You have a friend in the tree sprite. You throw it I, in the fireplace. You maybe don't got a friend in the tree sprite. Sprites. You don't got a tree sprite anymore. <laughs> you, you, you've got some tree spite is what you've you got. You have tree spite. Yep. That's true. Are all trees inhabited by tree sprites? Have you, do have you delved into I, that? I, you know, see, I see a lot of trees. Yes. However, okay. I have not knocked on them to, to see. see to see who's home. To see who's home. Why not? 
just you know when i go out in the woods you just can't be bothered i don't want to see people you yeah or 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 talk to things or you like chipmunks and lizards and stuff i love to chase the lizards i know you do you chase the lizard through the through the park it was rude you could have got dead you led me to a wall of nothing Mm mm-hmm a mm-hmm. big rock wall of nothing. Mm-hmm. Criminal. He was a little criminal. Little criminal, and then he disappeared. Yep. I don't even know where he went. Nope. He disappeared into the wall of nothing. He didn't even hold the door for me. No. He might have been a little, a little tree sprite, posing as a lizard. Possibly. I mean, you know, you never know. Do they pose like that? I don't know. If you cut down like a big tree, if there's a great big tree, is there just one sprite in there? Because that seems a little wasteful. That's probably the queen or king. Okay. Okay. So to go along with the knocking on wood, mm-hmm. so we knock on wood when we Where say did you something. Because that's my writing at the top of that. This is from our very first <gasps> sit down together. Oh mercy! I wow. have held on to it for this a minute. Is five hundred years old? Pretty much. We're gonna have to put it down carefully. It is almost a scroll. It's practically a scroll. From the Dead Sea. Somebody we is going to find jar it in the one backyard. day. Yes, we're going to put it in a, in a bottle when we're done here. And they're going to try to decipher what all of this means and think they have stumbled onto something brilliant. Yes. Yes. There's not, but yes. I got you. Okay. So, okay. So you knock on wood uh-huh. when you say something good that's in your life or something that hasn't ever happened, think and right. you knock and you're to keep it away to from keep you. it away gotcha to wake up those tree sprites or to touch the cross gotcha to keep the good flowing okay when you cross your fingers there are two theories on this also there okay. is the pre-christianity pagan belief and the adaptation for christianity okay crossing your fingers okay so the pagan belief, which was primarily like a Western European belief, mm-hmm. the cross was a symbol of power and warding off evil. I would hope so. Yes. And then Christianity, we all know the symbol of the cross in Christianity. Yes. Um, so whenever you cross your fingers christianity comes along they also crossed their fingers okay but they did it in a way where they crossed and then touched their thumb and it was like a gang sign to other christians to symbolize they were they all were, in the christian game because we are all there for the big jc that's, that's right us. all right okay the og jc jc word <laughs> um, but it was a symbol for early christians sure. because you know, persecution and yes, of course. Um, they had to meet secretly and mm-hmm. and things mm-hmm. like that. So mm-hmm. they had a secret handshake sign, which involved crossing the fingers. Um, gotcha. To symbolize their beliefs. Okay. When you cross your middle finger over your index finger, this was used during the Hundred Years' War to bring favor from God. Did it work? I, I mean, God the war eventually signs. ended a hundred years after it started. So I guess it eventually worked. It could have been the 200 years war. <laughs> exactly. It could have been a million year war and, and, or a thousand and year war. we crossed war. our fingers. So they crossed and their only fingers enough. Years, only it only lasted a hundred years between Ooh. England and France in the Middle Ages. In a blink of a freaking eye. Thanks to all that finger crossing. Yes. Um, but it, it was a, a symbol for military. Mm. to ask for protection from God. Okay. I know. So, I don't um, know why they didn't just pray. Because you can do that. You, you can. God doesn't want you to throw gang signs up at don't him while you're praying. You don't signs. have to do it. He loves the big JC too. He does. Um, the cross has been an important symbol yes. since before Christianity. Mm-hmm. Um, Those Romans loved it. They did. Mm -hmm. And it was also an important symbol to Christianity because our God, our Jesus was crucified on a cross. For us. For us. Yep. For our eternal souls. Mm -hmm. And to wash away our sins. Mm -hmm. So obviously it 
holds a lot of importance to Christians see as well. Yes. In sacred geometry. Oh. Here's where the tree sprites come in. Okay. I can't wait. I know it. Mm -hmm. Except they're not tree sprites. They are intersection sprites. In sacred geometry, the point of intersection of a cross. I got so many things I want to say about your intersection, but I'm going to leave it alone. You know, just go ahead. I know. I mean, we've already talked about the wood. <laughs> you're intersexual. Go ahead and tell me what you're okay. talking about. My intersexual? Yeah. At the point of intersection mm -hmm. in a cross, mm -hmm. that's where the little sprites live and the spirits and the gods. That's where the little nails live. That's where they pulled it together. It's not no. the tree sprites holding it together. I don't. Sacred geometry will tell lies. you otherwise. No, lies. It will tell you otherwise. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Whenever you make a wish on a cross, a dream which is, is a what wish. you're doing your when you makes. cross your fingers, the you are essentially said. making a wish. You're not even listening. Go ahead. That's fine. I, I heard Cinderella mm -hmm. yep. in the cute little fat mouse. Gus, he's my Gus, favorite. Gus. I know. Just in shock. A dream is yeah. a wish your heart makes. It is. It's not crossing your fingers. Is a but uh, maybe you have to your cross fingers your fingers make? when you sing it. A dream is a wish your heart makes, and crossing your fingers is the wish your fingers make. Why can't they have a wish too? I don't know. Nobody wrote a freaking song about that. Well, that's just, just I have to get write. on it. I, well, you, you have, know I'm real good at you writing have the, songs. The, the little notebook there. Just throw <laughs> words down. They don't have to make always sense. writing songs and stuff. <laughs> For all, the, for all the movies that you watch. All the movies that I watch. Mm -hmm. I write all the songs oh for the movies God. that I watch. Uh -huh. I know. Um, anyway. So. Yes. When you're trying to ward off bad things, you knock on wood. Okay. When you're speaking good things into existence. Cross your fingers. You cross your fingers. But do you have to cross your fingers when you go past the cemetery? Why is that? Is that for good luck? So you, you don't end up in breath. the cemetery? I've heard that too. You hold heard... your breath when you cross the cemetery. I've heard crossing fingers too, though. I think if you're Catholic, you cross your... You just did that all messed up. I know, because I'm not Catholic. We're Southern Baptists. This is how we do it. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't do that. We don't do that at all. You guys... Put your hands up and you dance around with snakes and things. Isn't that what you do? I mean, there is <laughs> not my Southern Baptist, but there is a Baptist. Yeah, I bet you do. There, there are Baptists uh -huh. that do that. Mm. My grandpa was a preacher and he never brought a snake to service. Is he a real preacher then? Probably no. Okay. <laughs> he probably wasn't a real preacher then because he never had it. No At least snakes. not for the Baptists. No reptiles. There were no reptiles. There were no snakes. There were no nothing. There was no You sound like chicken. a boring church. We were. Well, Catholic churches, too. We just go in there and, and, and pray and listen, and then we go home. My Southern Baptist, Try that's what better. we did. No we, snake handling? No snake handling. No raccoon handling? You sat quietly and reverently okay. and let the preacher speak. Okay. And you didn't. Good. You were quiet. Did and then sing? I went to a Pentecostal church one time. Oh, my. You know what? Whenever we all get to heaven... Southern Baptists, we're going to be at the back that? of the line because the Pentecostals will run you over. <laughs> we're going to be in a nice, neat, orderly line with our hands behind our back and our head bowed. Because you're under arrest. And the Pentecostals are going to be dancing and singing, and they're going to run right over the top of us. That's why. All right. It's not nice. They're fun, though. Oh, yeah. The Pentecostals. For they sure. are fun. For sure. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. No it snakes. was very intimidating when I went to a Pentecostal church for the first time in my no, 20s. No, no snakes? There were no snakes there. Okay, good. No, somebody got drunk in the spirit, I think. Oh, okay. Was that it the was, snake? There were no snakes. It, it was a person. And then they spoke in tongues. Okay. And then I, the preacher tried to pray, and everybody started praying, and I was sitting next to everything. You didn't quiet. know what was going on. Why are they being quiet. so loud? That's rude. I'm trying to listen. The preacher's trying to pray to God, and everybody's got stop. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't listen to me at all. They didn't care no, what I thought. they're not going to. No. They're too busy dancing around with snakes. So, to crossing your you. fingers with your pagan. Oh, okay. In the pagan belief, you cross your fingers. 
you are calling for the sprites assistance in making your wish come true. Well, how do they know that? How do the sprites know when your fingers are crossed? It's kind of a quiet act. It's not like banging on their house. Now, if you're me, you don't mm -hmm. actually cross your fingers. You just say it out loud. Fingers crossed. I say that all the time to everybody. Oh, fingers crossed. That doesn't mean the same thing. There's still an intersection there. No. A cross is mentioned. Doesn't matter. Hmm. I could go across the football field. That doesn't mean that there's a cross mentioned. But, you know, it, mm -mm. if you tell a lie, mm -mm. you cross your finger behind your back. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Or cross your toes so nobody knows that you're crossing your finger. I mean, it's a, yeah. That was, a, you know, a, a game when mm -hmm. I was a kid. Ha ha, my fingers are crossed. And that's when you, you're not telling down. a lie. Mm -hmm. But you want protection from while lie. you're telling a lie. You want protection from me knocking you down. Exactly. Or lying to silly. me. Don't do that. Don't knock them down. Don't. What if they're lying? lying? Oh, and well, don't if they... ask the whatever sprite to protect you when you For tell being a, a dirty lie. liar. That's yeah. calm down. Exactly. Simmer down. Just, Just tell, tell the, the truth. truth. Just <laughs> tell the truth. Wish for good things to happen and you cross your fingers for that. For the good things. That's right. No, that's not why they do that. Mm. No. No. Dirty liars. They do. And they cross mm -hmm. their fingers behind their back for protection from their lie. From their lie. From the consequences of their lie. Shameful. I know. Mm hmm. I know it. Mm hmm. So, anyway, the crossing of the fingers and the knocking of the wood. Kind of the same thing. They go hand in hand. Not the same thing, Not but exactly. Right along that same right. train if of thought. Both for the Christian faith. Mm hmm. Both are calling on Jesus and the cross for protection. And if you're pagan, you are waking up some sprite somewhere in a tree. I'm telling you. Or in an intersection. Never seen. I have come to many intersections. I've seen a lot of wrecks in intersections. Mm -hmm. There was a tree sprite not doing its job at that intersection. Must have been their day off. I bet so. They probably get tired of it. I bet somebody cut down their tree. They didn't have any sleep the night before. I bet so. I bet there was a tree right there at that mm -hmm. intersection that mm -hmm. somebody wiped out. Yep. And then so they put, put the road there, there, and he's like, oh, that's a different sprite. How about that? That's not me. That that's a whole be. different spirit now. But you cut down my house. Mm -hmm. I'm a tree sprite. I don't have to protect you. Nope. You need a... I got to go find a tree. Cross now. sprite. <laughs> How do they keep them all Talk straight? Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. That's what it is. How, I bet there were, there were tree sprites. Know and spirits and the gods know. lived in intersections of imaginary crosses how do they know to hop in there when you cross your fingers they don't they don't i mean a tree is a tree they know where their house is uh, a tree is a tree all day long that's that yeah uh -huh. you nailed and that. then the ones in the water mm -hmm. the little water sprites but we're not talking about that no today. we did we did that a while back yeah we did but still they knew where they lived mm -hmm. those little Cross intersection no. sprites, they're just hopping it right when my fingers aren't crossed, where are they living? They don't even know where I don't to go. Know. No, they don't. Not really. Mm -mm. Poor little sad. things. I know. Yeah, they're just floating yeah. out there. Wishing I'd cross my fingers so they could go home. Right. And then there's no home. And then there's none because you threw I, it in the fireplace. Uh huh. They're mad at you. Yep. Yeah. I think you gotta warm your house with their house. Or Set your laptop and recording equipment up on their house. Yep, yep. This is this is 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 wood looking for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alrighty. Have we covered it? I believe so. All right. Cool. I believe so. It was a two-parter on location. On location. Sweating our asses off. Sweating our. This was fun. It was. On I'm location. Gl I'm glad you came to location with me. You finally got here. You did. After all the GPS and dumped us out in the middle of nowhere. If I'd have told you beforehand, just knock on a tree. Uh, I would have got help. You would have, have pointed the way. They would. Yeah. Well, no. But no, you You're didn't. You're like, suck it, Carol. That's I don't right. care. That's right. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll try to care more next time. No, you won't. You don't give a rat's ass. I love you. I love you more. All right. Join us every Tuesdays for Superstitions and every Saturdays for Am I the Asshole Historical Edition. Right on. 
Like and subscribe. Right. Like and subscribe. Peace out. That is not your word. That's what I said. That is not what you say. You say it. Love you. She does. I do. I have a partner. She does. Come back and see us too. Bye. Bye.